food because it's on the university's bar tab or something along those lines. And they're like, yeah, this is our chance to be classy. We can show everyone how upper class we are. It'll be Chardonnay and shit like that. No, this is a gaming conference, which means no one is really pretentious. There are some people who claim to be upper class. The rest of us know we're there because we play video games. So it was instead of the $700 bottles of white wine, it was $700 worth of bottles of beer. And no one was really willing to get that drunk in front of everyone, but I am an alcoholic, so I had no objection to this whatsoever. (laughs) And I drank. I drank more than everyone I was sitting with. It was There was one guy, Thomas Appley, the guy who's running the convention, loves drinking, I, I believe is like the savior of gaming academia within New South Wales for that reason alone. And he's just, he's an enabler. Anytime I finished a drink, he would just magically rock up and put another beer into my hand. I didn't even have to change the shape of my grip where there'd be an awkward period. It'd just be instantaneously one down, next one's in there, going completely crazy for him. We started drinking at 6 p.m. We got kicked out for being you know, just over time at 10 p.m. We went to another bar where we drank until 1 a.m. Then I missed the last train back to my house, which meant I had to walk 10 miles. So I got home at like 4 a.m. and then woke up at 7 a.m. and went back out and did the entire fucking thing again. Also, academics can't handle their alcohol. Not all of them can. Some can, but most of them just no. Ah, academics... The only thing they're good for is publishing papers. I think I was talking ah, to Digi halfway papers. through and saying, you just need to, like, get your shit academically done and you're going to be fucking trouncing these people in terms of having a massive e but in academic circles. I don't even know what that's called. Fucking tenure? I want Backlog. Okay, so what's the anime we need to be excited about? Oh, no, I'm just posting dumb shit in the chat. Yeah. That show <laughs> like, is called Gakko Gurashi. It's a show about... Bunch of cute little girls and zombies, I guess. But the character designs are really cute, so I will, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, fucking hell. Okay, so other shit that's been going on recently. Um, I saw. I don't know how to go through with this. So, starting point. Uh, you guys know how I have a dog, and I fucking love the dog and everything else. Yeah. Ah, yes. Oh, I yeah. Like your dog. Is yeah. It dead? No, it's not dead yet. Did you know that? Okay, so my dog's going through its first heat, which means it's going through puppy puberty. And if none of you are familiar with female anatomy, what that means is she's bleeding fucking everywhere. It's like, Mm. this is what guys expect when they hear that girls are on their period, where it's just blood no matter where you go, like on the floors, on the walls. It's just as if someone's turned on a jet stream, and you're like, how can you still be walking around after turning the fucking floor into this phantasmagorical monument to just blood. And yeah, yeah, I found out because while I was at the conference, my brother called me up because he took the dog to the vet because he had no idea why a dog would be bleeding at all. (laughs) Just like, your dog's pissing blood everywhere. Wait, legit? Yeah, pretty much legit. So I took it to the vet, yeah? Have you had the dog desex yet? No. Yeah, get your dog desexed. So, lots of shit got covered in blood. What have you guys been up to? Fuck now. I'm trying to find... Um, Go ahead. I watched anime. No, I, I kind of expected that from you, but what have the others been doing? They sometimes like... I was thing. actually going to say that I was started watching an anime today, believe it or not, and... Yeah. What show? Oh, shit, I'm trying to find the damn thing. I remember looking at it going, Oh, that looks like a magical girl anime. Oh, none of those are girls. You know what? I'm not oh, homophobic. I'm the finished. magical boy show. Then, <laughs> <laughs> fucking love. How that many show. of those that are there? Is incredible. There's just the one. There's only the one. Yeah. There's one. The guy who directed that's gonna be at Otakon. Yeah. Yeah. There's one the of them. Magical with... animal in this is a Let's wombat. kidnap him. Yeah. There was this one kind of like koala looking thing in there, and I'm like, I'm it's not homophobic. I'm finishing this episode. Yeah. No, <laughs> and it was like it daring was me. It was worth it just for the wombat. <laughs> Fucking Australia Pride, yo. Australia Pride. Yeah. Now, I don't have a bottle opener on hand at the moment, and I'm too lazy to get up. But after, you know, hearing all of Digi's and Jeff's and everyone else's bitching of me to get up and get drinks all the time, 
I'm attempting to open up a bottle. I'm making a MacGyver fucking bottle opening it out of a pencil and a spanner. It is working as terribly as you would imagine, and I suspect I'm going to cover myself in shards of glass. A spanner is like a ruler, right? Thing that measures stuff? Uh, it's... No, or this is like stick. an adjustable spanner, so this is something that... I'm aware Australian terminology is different. This oh, is no, like it's like a wrench, those. right? Yeah, it's, it's like a wrench. wrench. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Yeah, so I'm dealing a with spanner, one of spanner, for some reason... Um, the first time I heard the phrase spanner was in the Smiths song, uh, The Queen is Dead, where he says he broke into the palace with a sponge and a rusty spanner. And for some reason, I had imagined it as a measuring stick. Um, and then I found out later that it was a wrench, but yes. I still get that confused. We call that that in fucking, you know, Queen's language and Queen's English and all that sort of shit, because we're mm. terrible people. Speaking of the Queen, in another two months, she'll be the longest-serving British monarch in history. Proving she's a lich. I'm pretty sure she is. <laughs> How I mean, she, she survived Thatcher. Oh, I don't know, like 2000? I think she's just been in the background the entire time. Isn't the Queen Mother still alive too? God, that's that can't creepy. be possible. Here, no, that, that can't be right. This has got to be like, if it is, I think I know what's happening. Eugenics has never I was happened. about to say that you're gonna if that's true, are you gonna start to wonder about religion? <laughs> it's not about religion. It's something well it's... England it can't be science, come now. <laughs> right. Queen the current queen's Elizabeth II, right? Yeah, okay. She lived uh, the Queen Mother was a hundred and two years old when she died. That's some good health care over there, I guess. The current queen yeah. is eighty nine. Yes. Me. Holy shit, eugenics has succeeded. You know all this inbreeding stuff where you're like, no, 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 inbreeding with royalty's always gonna filthy up the pool and shit like that. I think in this instance we've managed to nail it down. These bitches are living longer and longer. Eighty nine, a hundred and two. The average life expectancy is currently sitting at seventy three. For women? Or in general. Just in general. That's so probably different for every country. Live longer. Men do not live longer because apparently we take more risk-associated activities and shit like yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Our hearts fail in general. There we go. We... I got into it. Nothing broke. Life is good. I'm pretty sure everyone on this show is going to die of heart failure because we drink too much. I'm gonna die I intend to die of liver cancer. <laughs> I intend to die in some way that involves an investigation. Nice. Do you intend to make it happen so they can never find out what happened to the bodies? I just want them to have to find pieces of me in various oh, places. Fucking hell. So, Gamergate got involved in my academic conference, of all things. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, got this involved is... involved as in it was part of the study, or got involved as in literally they got involved? Uh, okay, so I'm part of DIGRA. There's, like, Digital Games Research Association. Australian, so it's like Digra with an extra A, so we were using the hashtag Digra, uh, like a fucking retarded dinosaur type thing, and apparently they did a presentation at International Digra about Gamergate where they started ripping into it or some shit like that, just having really bad history going, what is Gamergate and saying it's all just misogynistic movement and everything else. So we're using the hashtag Digra, and then they're like, oh my god, I can't believe they tried to hide Digra by adding an extra A to it. It's just, no, we're, we're using Digra because this is the Australian part. And then Twitter was just filled with what I found to be fucking hilarious, but everyone else hated. They were using cute anime girl memes. They weren't being insulting, they weren't being violent. They just tried to hijack the Digra hashtag by putting down pictures of cute anime girls. Which meant that I was like just a completely honorable mission. It was fucking brilliant for me. I was having the best time during the conferences. I didn't care what the person was saying at the time. Well, I did mine because I may have to reference them at some point. Just I will now I proceed know to this anime. Mission upon our comments. I know this anime. I know this anime. What the fuck's that one? That's a really cute moe girl. I'm gonna have to like ask Digi about that later. And I didn't save the tweet, so I've got no fucking clue what it was. Oh man, you gotta find it. Go find it. But it was it's just on the bigger through. hashtag. Yeah, you can dude, that... We managed to get this... Uh, sorry, not we. Gamergate, in terms of their trolling and trying to take over the Digra hashtag, got it to be the number one trending topic in Australia. Wow. Just by their efforts of, you know, fucking it up. It's, like, fucking brilliant. Because, from a statistical perspective, we can now go and say, so our research hashtag 
was the number one trending topic in Australia <laughs> for like three hours. Can we have some research grant money now? It's like we just mulched Bastards the negativity. Just into you. Yeah, we mulched yep. the negativity into statistics that boost our cause. But it was amazing to hear the different jaded perspectives where one person was like, how did Gamergate get started? And then they're like, oh, it all started when Zoe Quinn released a game called Depression Quest. And then a whole bunch of gamers were like, girls can't make games. And then they started harassing her for that reason. And then her <laughs> ex-boyfriend of the time just made up a whole bunch of shit. And then they started going after Kotaku. It's like, wait, the hold record, on the fucking second here. None of like, this is any better or worse than the actual history. It's the actual history and why things got really big. And, you know, fucking thank Christ Steam is aware of this. And BBC is now aware of this after their debacle. When you try and censor arguments and debates, it makes everything fire up and become a million times worse. The reason this shit got out of hand is because... People were trying to say what's going on on Reddit, and then they were getting shadow banned on Reddit for asking what the fuck was going on. Nothing makes you think a conspiracy is going on more than seeing someone ask what's happening here get killed off in front of you. It's like, well, okay, no, something's actually happening here. So, um, yeah, it's very interesting to see them get the history completely and totally wrong, but I had enough sensibility at that time to go, if I say anything... I'm gonna get, like, shouted down. But yeah, after that, uh... There were a couple of people that started reviewing what the actual talks were about, going, man, these are great! I just wish it wasn't entirely focused on gender theories. The, the fucking topic is gender theory in video games. What do you want these people to do? Ah, good times. I'm trying to remember if there's any papers that would actually interest people here. I like paper. <laughs> no, that, I, there really wasn't. I was like, waiting for the was... conversation to die right there. No, there's like, there's fucking nothing. Like, there's stuff that's of interest to me because I'm doing research and shit, but even I'm aware you guys don't want to hear about my PhD, which is why I don't bring it up every fucking I, show. I would have rather heard about the PhD than Gamergate. <laughs> okay, no, so the game again thing, I'm not going, and it's still misogynistic to this day. No, fuck off. I'm not getting involved in that. It's just more interesting to see how the other side is treating it and how the geniuses on the other side are like, we can just turn their complaints into money. If there is anything better to, uh, better to do with people that hate the content you generate, I don't know what it is. Oh, fucking hell. There's got to be more stuff you guys have done, because I'm almost through all my stories of what I've been up to. Well, I watched anime. I made a bunch of boring-ass brony videos that no one wants to hear about. <laughs> That's accurate. Yep. <laughs> hey, I was dialed in. I'm paying attention. Shit. I didn't just... No, he's, he's watching anime. He's analyzing. It's, it's all getting there. Oh yeah, well, the anime... stuff. that's right, you already said it was the Magical Boys. Figure out what that thing that someone tweeted was, Cider, so I can tell you what it is. Okay, so there's 17,000 tweets to go through, because they've all been retweeted that's, by each other. That's, like, nothing. You can I can't be this. fucked, man. I'll just start watching anime until I find it. Yeah. Given that everything tweeted was from the current season, I just need to see what's in the current season of anime. Well, alright, I'll, sh I'll Shit, wait. what else did I watch? I'm um, going to an anime convention. The current season just ended, though. The, yeah, I the just... current season is uh, ending, like, today. Yeah, but I just started watching an entire fucking series of anime as well. This alcohol I'm drinking tastes like cherry pie. Is that? Alright, here's the uh, here's the season that just finished. So look through that and tell me what show you were, uh, what art style was in that picture, and I'll tell you if you should watch it, if I know. No, it's gotta be something. Like I, I decided I'd just drop in to see how Assassination Classroom is going, to see how the manga is different from the anime and shit like that. It's not the worst but it's not the best either and it's not something i would sit down and watch when i was bored i'm so the dub is actually really well done it's in that series of things i would prefer the dub hmm. fuck no there's gotta be more anime i was watching what no this is bugging me so where's your link there we are and i'm slowly but surely but turning cloud cuckoo country into a terrible person who starts up shit <laughs> i'm watching nana and it's good tell me about yep. that I, I know nothing about it, except I was told 
it's nothing like K-On when I said it was. It's about <laughs> two girls who should be lesbians, but spoiler alert, aren't. Oh. So this is K-On. Yep. <laughs> no. I don't know. It's it's the first anime I've ever watched sober, so it's also the first anime I've ever remembered. Nana is a very, very famous shoujo manga series that was adapted to animation by Madhouse and director Mori Osaka in 2003 or 4 or something like that. Thanks, it's, Wikipedia. Uh, 47 episodes long. <laughs> this is from memory, I'm not on Wikipedia. Um, it's 47 That's, episodes I know, I, I wasn't saying, I was, I was not accusing you of reading Wikipedia. I, I, I know, I just had to make sure everybody calling knew. Calling Wikipedia. He wrote the name. article, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's a very, it's a it's a drama, melodrama, sort of a like a soap opera y type thing. Um, very, I'd say it's like a romance, but it's, I guess you'd call it sli- like a slice of life drama because it's not just about romance. It's more about all of the problems that the characters face as they sort of. It starts when uh, these two girls who are both named Nana, um, both. I think they're, like, 18 at the start of the series. Like, she just graduated high school, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's like they're sort of moving out into adulthood. And one of the Nanas is the singer, front woman of a, like, a punk rock uh, or, like, alternative rock band um, that's trying to become famous. And the other Nana ends up living with her, and they become roommates. And so it's sort of about their relationship and then the relationships that they have with other people and stuff. And, uh... After about 25 episodes or so, the entire show is incredibly fucking depressing. So, uh, look out for that. Oh, no. Have fun with that. I think I warned you at the start. uh, (laughs) I think we discussed the one I watched. I ended up finding it on the list here. Uh, The one I watched was Rakuen no Grisai or Grisai no Rakuen, whatever the fuck Oh, yeah, you've talked about Grisai before. Everyone gets raped, by which I mean just the main character. You you, you went through that before. Um... But aside from that, you were supposed to be looking for the show that people were posting yeah, images Yeah, I know. From. I can't see it in this list, which makes The most it adorable might... shows would be Show by Rock and uh, uh, oh. Hello, Kini Mosaic. I found the name of that one Ed anime. It's Those are all pretty adorable. Cute High Earth Defense Club Love. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah. That's the Magical Boys show. Yeah. You... And I was like, I'm pretty sure at least one of those is... No? Okay. All right. <laughs> that was from uh the winter season not the spring season that's why it's not in that list how how far did you uh make it into that one i only watched the first episode because yeah. i loved the concept but i just didn't think that it was uh that funny and it was also really poorly animated so like okay i don't know i'm not gonna get butter if, if i had <laughs> if i had heard that it was like really good i probably would have watched more of it but um uh, because it is from the director of the first hundred episodes of Gintama, which is one of my top five favorite anime of all time. Okay, I found it. And I think you'll know why I appreciated the image, and why I also, now looking at other images, is like, this is fucking trash. Oh, there is a series okay. on here. It's away. called Show by Rock. Yeah, that show's awesome, but terrible. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Cat girls and dog girls and bunny girls. This is like right up my alley. And then yeah. I'm just looking at the video right now going, that animation is fucking atrocious. No way. It's beautiful. I love it. The look of that show is perfect. It seems to be shifting between like really CG terrible. CG and not CG. CG. Yeah. The... I love the CG parts. I thought they looked cool. The CG. I'm just skimming through. The, the, okay. Show by Rock is a Sanrio iPhone game that was adapted into anime. <laughs> Sanrio being the people who made Hello Kitty. So it's like a, it's a literally a Sanrio iPhone game. And uh, the anime is really bizarre and shitty, but like the first episode was awesome because it's like this super adorable girl who literally wants to be she wants to live chaos like her, she wants to start a light music <laughs> club she wants to start a light music club and to become a part of a band and live out chaos but like almost literally but uh but she ends up getting sucked into like an iPhone game and and ends up jo- like going to this weird world where everyone's got cat ears and now she has wow. cat ears and everyone's like an animal thing wow. and uh 
and she she ends up joining this band with these three other girls. And the first episode, like in this world, they transform into like these cat, like these cutey little animal things when they perform music, right? But they also do it in the first episode to fight like a like there's some evil thing and they're like fighting it and they have this whole fight scene where they like they use their music to defeat the monster and it was like it was it was all right. And then episodes two through four never brought that up again. They never mentioned what it was. They never fought again. Nothing like that happened. And it just became a show about them trying to become like a like a famous band. Um, but then there was these other bands. It's just really so bad. It's like, like it's just really Log confusing. Log Horizon meets K-On. But it has With not like Log Horizon at all. It's it like tends. an iPhone game. Like like it's like they it's like getting sucked into fucking bejeweled or something like you're you're not getting sucked into an mmo it's just like yeah, a rhythm yeah. game you know i, um, I wanted to ask right. you Digi, there's this one anime i've been meaning to check out and i just realized you could find it on youtube have you ever oh, heard of go? is this a zombie yes, yes i watched all of that oh <laughs> how did you feel about it it was pretty well i shouldn't say all of that because i think they made a second season that i never watched but um it, it, i believe it's called is this still a zombie <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's inventive <great. laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, well, the Japanese title would be Kore wa Zombie desu ka? But, um, that also has a magical boy in it, incidentally, by coincidence. Oh my fucking god, that transformation I wish I was, a magical boy. was one of the best I have ever gone through. It's like, the what main the character, fuck is going on? The main character becomes a Maso Shoujo, which, magical girl is Maho Shoujo, whereas Maso Shoujo is, like, violence girl or something like that. It's like a a, a a a magical girl who uses a chainsaw, and um, the plot of that anime is that the main character guy ends up becoming a maso shojo, and he teams up with another like another girl who's like that, and then there's one girl who's like a mute knight or something, and a ghost, and then there's also and a, a vampire answer. ninja, and the vampire ninja is there, and then like the the plot. I, I wrote about this once where I like I just described what was happening in like episode 11 of that show and it was the most insane description of something I was watching ever. It was like like the final battle was like an army of space whales were flying near Tokyo Tower with ninjas, vampire ninjas playing violins on them to create like a barrier for a, a guy dressed as a magical girl to chainsaw like a demon and it was the single most insane description of something that I could ever imagine. So that's what you get into with that show. It's a it's a comedy action type series. One of those that like it's mostly funny, but then once there's like a bad guy shows up, they'll kind of take it seriously. But uh, but the things that happen are insane. And then sometimes they will just make things really weird as well. It's I I recommend watching it. I managed to stick through the first 10 episodes and was like cool i need to finish this and i never did well it's on youtube yay i'll let it to watch later hmm. you also need to watch redline redline's awesome it's yeah. all on youtube now they posted the entire film for free on youtube go watch redline it's a pulse pounding exciting <laughs> alien race movie about racing it's funny it's you like uh <clears throat> we were exciting we were we have a friend in our group that overpays people to watch like shitty ass movies. Who uh, uh -huh. checks out Danger Dolan or anything like that? Well, anyways, there's this one screwed up uh, movie. It's I think it's called a uh, Siberian or something like that. It's one of the most uh, horrific movies. Serbian ever. film. Serbian, Serbian film. film. It's on YouTube. And what our... the fuck? It is on YouTube. On I shit you not. It is on YouTube. I found it on there and I watched like the first 20 minutes and I was like, okay, it's kind of a porno. This better get the let out. And, like. An hour twenty. I was like, and then I had to go do stuff. <laughs> I was like, uh, I'm kind of a pussy. I should be freaked out by now. Have you guys watched Inside Out? I have. Uh oh. Oh god, Inside Out is a movie. If you go into it with really big expectations, you'll I like very. I like the the trade of thought that he was talking about a Serbian, <laughs> and you thought, yes. have. You guys seen Inside okay, Out? Okay, so Serbian well, film. Tell you what, have like you seen? Have you ever? Have you ever seen a Herman's Head, for example? And I was like, I always wanted to see one take that concept and throw it on something else. And I was like, oh, solid. <laughs> yeah, it's just like I'd like to see Inside Out happen 
within the universe of Serbian film. I think that would be a very uh, <laughs> interesting <laughs> experience for everyone involved. Like, there's there's a, an anime I'm sure Digi's heard of that's got, like, a kind of a substandard kind of co- uh, plot to it or whatever, but I, I, I wanted to see that concept for a while. Have you ever seen, I think it's a Murder Princess or something like that? The They do, like, the I've Freaky heard Friday. Of Murder Princess, yeah, it's, there, there's this, like, you know, highfalutin, like, you know, princess who winds up getting change signed with this crazy batshit nuts balls out uh, bounty hunter. Okay, yeah, I have seen the first two episodes of that. I don't remember shit about it, though. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I, I remember wanted it not to see... being very good. I remember but, I uh... wanted to see that concept, so that's why I liked it a lot. And I was like, looking back, I'm like, it wasn't that good. I just probably wanted to see this done. <laughs> right. That's a B-Train show. B-Train is a, 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 an animation studio that I used to have a long-standing vendetta against. And now it's more like a, a weird-ass backwards love. Like... I, I kind of like B Train was my Sword Art Online before I had Sword Art Online and Studio A1 Pictures who makes Sword Art Online. And like I think as a result of Sword Art Online, now I have like an affection for B Train. Um which I guess I could say I have some affection for Sword Art Online. <laughs> I'm super fucking hyped because there's a, a a game coming out, a fighting game, um called I think it's Dengeki Dayo. Let me look it up. Hold on. I, that Dengeki name Bunko. rings a bell, and it's not often for Japanese. Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax. That's... It's a fighting game that uses all characters who are from Dengeki Bunko books, which are light novels. And, of course, the most famous Dengeki Bunko series is Sword Art Online. So Kirito and Asuna are both playable characters in this fighting game along with a bunch of other characters who I'm really excited to get to play as because... I get to beat Kirito's ass as much as I want. Maybe he's all game. powered up like they Shinakuma. Gotta do Maybe he's all is... powered up like Shinakuma and you can't beat him down. No, he's not. He's actually uh, not considered high tier. So really? I'm looking... Okay, go So um, the high and the best part is the high tier characters are uh, are Shakugan no Shana, who is um, a character design I absolutely adore from a show that is absolutely abysmal. That I, if I wanted to do like another Your Anime Sucks video, like Sword Art Online, I could probably do it on Shakugan no Shana. I like Because I, I yeah. hate that show almost as much. Um, like, like in, in, in the same way where like with Sword Art Online, like how I get pissed off, like on like a moral <laughs> level almost, like that's how I feel about Shauna. Um, and then, uh, what's her name? The main character from. Uh, Ore no Imoto ga konna ni kawaii wake ganai, or My Little Sister Can't Possibly Be This Cute, is also considered a top tier character, and that'll what? be fun. Actually, no, yeah. I can see that. I can see that because he actually <laughs> is depicted in the books. In no, the no, 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 the girl. Like, oh, the, the girl, girl, no. Oh, yep, yeah, no, I can see that. The, the sister from Ore Imo is the top tier Just character. a suggestion, Digi, you should go back to doing another Your Anime Sucks. That was a lot of fun. I've been meaning to do one for the show Mad Lags forever because, like, um, as an anime blogger, I had a, like, for the longest time, I didn't talk about anything I didn't like because I just didn't see the point. Because, like, I, I, I've always hated, like, the caustic critic type people, the guys who just, like, shit on stuff just for the sake of shitting on it, mm-hmm. um, especially because they were usually wrong. They're usually doing it to be edgy. They take a show that everyone loves and rag on it just for the sake of ragging on it. And it pissed me off all the time. Well, then um, I had had a few moments where I watched these, these shorts by a studio B train. Cause they did parts of like, um, like the Batman anime thing where it's like the compilation of short films and the halo one. And they were just awful. Like their parts are by far the worst parts of those. And I'd given this whole rant about how much I hated B train segment of the halo series. And then uh, like, I realized that when you hate something as much as you love the things you love, it mm-hmm. can be fun to talk about it. Like, yeah. I don't enjoy just talking about shit that I'm, like, indifferent to, which is why I don't, like, you know, I don't watch and finish all these, like, shitty anime that come out that I'm just like, eh, whatever, it sucks. And, you know, I don't want to do a fucking three-hour video on something that I don't feel strongly about. But, like, if I really passionately hate it, like <laughs> I did with Sword Art Online, then... It's just as entertaining to write about as if it was my favorite show. So um, what made me uh, first learn to write about stuff I hated was I was watching this show Madlax by B-Train. And it's just 
uh, it's just awful. Like it's hilariously awful in in most ways. And uh, and Studio B Train had made my shit list particularly because they had three shows that were girls with gun shows that all had Yuri overtones. And like for a long time, my favorite thing was girls with guns and Yuri overtones. So, so like, how about that Strike Witches? Oh, I love Strike Witches. What did you oh, think of? So the fuck up about Strike Witches. What did you think of? Ever. What did you think of Gunslinger? Girl, I think it's called Gunslinger Girl. Well, have you ever seen uh, my vlogs where there's like all these huge wall scrolls for Gunslinger Girl in the background? <laughs> Gunslinger Girl was my favorite manga for a really long time. I was like obsessed with it. So, um, so B Train made these girls with guns shows with Yuri overtones that seemed like they were made just for me, but they suck. So like it was like <laughs> insult to injury that they took something that I should love and made a shitty version of it. So I started a blog called I Hate B-Train, where the whole point of the blog was I was just episodically talking about their shows and just ragging on them. And um, you can go search this blog, I hate btrain.wordpress.com. And like it was immediately my favorite project I'd ever done because it was so much fun to just just destroy these shows ruthlessly. Um, and I made it through 14 episodes of Mad Lags, which is a 26 episode show. I did like the first five episodes of Dot Hack Sign, um, which is also by them, and the first episode of a show called Arc the Lad, which was actually a pretty good episode. Um, the, the the funny thing about the studio is that they will every once in a while they'll put out one episode of a show that for some reason is really good, and it's like wow that that's what the show could be like like that was great, <laughs> and then the rest of it's garbage. So. Um, I've been very slowly over the years collecting Madlax on DVD, but I will only buy the volumes if I can find them for one dollar. So I currently have <laughs> volumes one, four, and five, I think, that I found for a dollar either at like secondhand stores or at FYE and like the in the dollar bin, you know, like. So uh, there's still three more DVDs I have to get, but uh, I will eventually own all of Madlax, and I will have paid six dollars for it. <laughs> you know, it's not okay fucking... to pay five or three; it has to be one dollar. That is a fucking noble goal. You're gonna get to the end, and someone's <laughs> gonna have it for a buck and a quarter. Are you gonna splurge? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I would do. I'd hold it out. <laughs> to hold no, it that's out. when you start haggling, man. You're like, I'll give it to you yeah. for ninety cents. <laughs> Knowing full well no, they will let, let me most tell you, go down to a dollar. Let me tell you what I went through for the last one because I just got one a couple weeks ago. It was Fye was having a buy two use DVDs get one for a dollar. <laughs> so I I sat there I I spent an hour at the used <laughs> anime section of Fye trying to figure out how I could get two DVDs that I wanted and get Madlax. But Madlax had to be the cheapest one so that I'd get it for a dollar, but I didn't want to spend more than, like, $12 in the most. So I spent like, all day fucking organizing, like, trying to figure out which two DVDs I would buy in order to get Madlax for a dollar um, and not spend too much. So I did. I bought volume two of Three by Three Eyes, <laughs> which is a two-volume OVA that I never, I've never seen the second half of. And the first DVD of Fancy Lala, which is a... Magical girl show from the '90s that's supposedly pretty okay, three, but more importantly, I got Mad Lax. Rinsed. So, yeah, I remember in the manga for that, they the front of the cover had like Rob Zombie shilling it or something, and I was like, oh, from, from what? Three Eyes Three. Oh yeah, three three X three eyes. I don't know how it's supposed to be. I I always say three by three, but um, yeah, it it does have zombies in it. I believe. Yep. Isn't the, the main character? Yeah, kind of a zombie. Pretty much. I need to yeah. ask. What's coming up in the next season of anime that I need to keep an eye on? All right, sweet. Um, well, if you, well, you the know what, good burger anime. It's an anime I should just, adaptation. I should, uh, Please tell I should me that is legitimately a thing. I, I wish. wish. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like it's Jeff telling me this. It might be real. Maybe I could just drag my buddy Nino in here because he did a video on like what shows to look forward to, and he's the one I was saying that I might. Dragon, if I this show guess. got So, like, I'm looking at this. There's Venus Project. Looks like it's just going to be young, bit titted anime yeah, girls. It's like, cool. Uh, all right, let me tell you the stuff to be excited about. Today, the first episode of Gangsta came out. That is not subbed yet, unfortunately, but it should be soon. Um, Gangsta 
apparently is a great manga. It's got a lot of the staff that worked on Samurai Shamplu and uh, Ergo Proxy working on it. So it should be interesting and cool. And uh, the opening is great. I've seen that. Uh, let's go through here. More Dudarada is coming, but unless you've seen the first 36 episodes, then it probably doesn't matter. Um, second season of Gatchaman Crowds, which if you haven't seen the first season of that, then it probably doesn't matter. Um, God Eater, which is a UFO table series who are pretty much the dominant animation studio right now in terms of like animation quality. Um, it's going to be like a, an action show. So if you want to see great action scenes and that's what you really care about, watch that. It's also got a really interesting aesthetic that uh, I've never quite seen before in a show. Um, are you talking about Mad Max? Um, what? What about Mad Max? Are we talking, are we talking about Mad Max? If you no. like action and you, uh, interesting aesthetic, you should see it. Oh, sweet! Junjo that... Romantic is getting the third season, because that's what I wanted to hear. Yeah, watch watch more of your gay boys. No, um, I'm good, thank you. I am more. Prison School is a manga that is very popular on A, and it Holy should shit, be... shit, yes! I've been following this! This is one of the best things I am looking forward to. Yeah, it should be a cool anime. I'm sure you're also looking forward to Monster Musume. Yes, but that's, uh, that's that. like... Hey. That's understandable. I mean, I, I'm fully entirely about Monster Girls in anime. Yeah. Um, Ushio and Tora and Overlord should both probably be good, just because... Wait, wait, is that the general... old one, or is it a reboot? It's a... it's a They're readapting Ushio and Tora the manga. Cause I, probably I... all the way... I remember watching it a long damn time ago in uh, one of the, the Yeah, there was like an OVA in the nineties, but it didn't it didn't complete the story. No, it yeah. didn't. I actually own all of that back in the uh, one of the one of the Otakus who was putting it on. He's like, Oh, it's the Japanese version of Calvin and Hobbes. I was like, Ooh. And right, I watched... I forgot you actually know like a bunch of nineties anime, don't you? Yeah, I used to go to a, a there used to be like these Arabs in like a town over that had like a video store for like anime. They had like like two full block rows of it, like from top to bottom. Jeez. The whole yeah. Other than the stuff I just named, it's gonna be more up in the air. Like I can't really say what's gonna be good until I see it with my own eyes. Um, my, you know, my motto: high hopes, low expectations. Like I hope all these shows will be good, but I don't expect anything until they're out. But the shows that I, that I personally have the highest hopes for would probably be Gangsta, Prison School. Um, I hope Gakko Garashi will be good. I don't really know much about the manga. Other than that, it's about zombies and suffering. But the girls are fucking adorable. And I want to watch it. I don't care what it's about. The girls are adorable <laughs> enough for me to watch it. Um, God. It's I the, read... the character designs are right in my strike range. Let's okay. put it that way. So I'm now reading two completely separate uh, opening things for this. So in the first one... These are just synopsises for the entire fucking anime, which go for two lines. The one I'm reading on the analyst is, The story revol uh, revolves around four girls who decide to stay over at school. The energetic Yuki Takeo, just fucking skipping all that to the important bit. Through mysterious circumstances, the girls find themselves the final survivors in a zombie attack and continue to live at school. The other one pretty much starts off the exact same, except it's, Through mysterious circumstances, they find themselves trapped in one of the girls' comas and must get out of it alive. So I've got no fucking clue which of these is legitimate and which of these is wrong. Um, that's all true. It's, it's uh. the, the idea, I believe the plot, I, I haven't read the manga, so I don't know this for sure, but I believe the plot is that the girl thinks that she's living a normal school life, but she's actually demented, like she's just imagining it, where the reality is that it's like a zombie apocalypse and they're all like fighting for their lives. But in her head, then it's just normal everyday life. That's so twisted. What's the name? Give me a link yeah. to that. Yeah, and apparently it's really fucked up. Like, uh, it's it's dark and uh, sad. I will most likely enjoy the shit out of it then. I need a link Wait, to that. Wait, what the fuck? There's a second season of Fate Khalid Linear Prisma Ilya? A third season coming out. Oh, wow. I, I did not need to know that. What but the that? second season had the best makeout scene between two lollies that I've ever seen in my life. I'm not surprised. You should do a list of that. <laughs> this is Digibro's top ten list of make out lolly scenes. I think that's the only one that really sticks out in my <laughs> mind. Like they put, they put well, a lot of like... effort into that. I haven't even seen the show, but I've seen that gif a hundred thousand times. Oh yeah, <laughs> Dragon Ball's cool. starting up again. Yeah, in like ten Oh yeah, Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, Dragon Ball Chow. 
Yeah. How do we fucking it's forget that? Cho. Yes. Cho. Cho. Uh, Dragon Ball Chow is a type of dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Never changed, Jeff. <sighs> yeah, so now we get to see them hit Super Saiyan level 75 by the fucking end of the series. That's not even funny. <laughs> Because you know what will happen, it'll take them 7,000 episodes, and it'll get there. Well, that'll take- that'll they be five have... minutes real time, you know that. Yeah, probably. I mean, the biggest fucking issue that- it... Dragon Ball Z had one of the biggest problems of how do we make the stakes remain so high? Let's just make everyone more powerful. What's the name of that zombie uh, one again? I, I agree. Have to that name. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking hell. Let's bring someone else in. Yeah. All right. I, I've been drinking all day. I went to the gone. mall today with my mates, and it was great. I couldn't even think Fucking hell, we're gonna just skip that with we'll Play Spirit of Fire, because why the fuck not? This gives everyone yeah. a chance to get something more alcoholic. I'm gonna see if there's any vodka left. This is pathetic. <laughs> even by my standards. Did you ask Goat if he wanted in? We're already an hour in. Yeah. Oh, no, it's, I'm saying it's pathetic in that I have been drinking, like, Seven standard drinks, and I can't even feel it yet. I'm disappointed by that. Well, I couldn't get Jimmy. I guess he went to bed, so... Yeah, bring Goat in. Why not? Yeah. If he's there. Guess you can goad him in. Fucking, we're done. Uh. Sound break. Everyone go grab more booze. Whoa! <laughs> Did you really fall over, Jeff? <sighs> Jeff, hello? Hey. Ah, fuck him, you know what? Him. I realized I can't actually bring myself to drag somebody into this show at 2 a.m. I can. <laughs> Digi, are you ordering me to grab goat Jesus and shuck him in? If you want to. Uh, ah, he was late to my show. Fuck him. Those are exactly <laughs> <sighs> oh, he, he fucking made the avatar. That's beautiful. He used the pick. <laughs> He liked it. Best $20. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. <sighs> oh, so much for that. <laughs> I'm all out of people then, I guess, that I'd recommend. I'd almost recommend the artist from that, but his time zone's so screwed up I wouldn't. Uh. I can't believe he did three variations for 20 bucks. I'm like, oh my god. That's beautiful. I'm back. I grabbed Absinthe. Nice. I really just want absinthe because I'm told I can't get it. Code Jesus told me to visit a link. And I sit before these mighty skies. You ever get the feeling you're just going to be told, get fucked? Yeah. Huh, there's a Persona movie. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, I had a feeling. I remember asking somebody who had like a Persona avatar, do you watch, anim or do you watch anime? He's like, what are you, stupid? I'm you have a Prasad avatar. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure whether this is a fake thing or not, so I'm just going to... Hey, Digi, how easy, e how easy is it to get, like, anime people for podcasts, generally? How easy is what? To get anime people, like, reviewers and such for podcasts. Okay, so it looks like Goat Jesus Depends just got a wet virus. Hmm? Oh. Yeah. What happened to him? I like, got a web virus. Yeah, I'm just clicking on the link he gave, and it's just loading up. This is not an actual dating website, it's just for hardcore sex. I thought it was a joke because it had a blue girl, so I just copied and pasted the thing again, and it sent me to a different, like, click download virus thing. It's like, oh, no, this is not legit. Amara Coco. That's a weird looking dog thing. Well, that yo, should that be a virus? Now we find out. <laughs> Ten seconds till we're on air. Yep. <clears throat> oh. 
Welcome Great. back to the pub crawl. Well, now. Welcome back to the pub crawl. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm fucking dragging Hibby in here. He can just whinge and deal with it. Oh, he's not here either. For fuck's sake. No one's alive. Oh. Welcome back. We're all dead. We are now trapped in the parallel universe in which we dream and do nothing but. I could grab my girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, no, no, that's I'm fine. Curious to see how that one would go. Hey, probably not well. <laughs> probably <Yeah>? not well. <laughs> I can see how it goes. So this is the people you hang out with. Yep, we're breaking up. Shit. No, oh, that's fine. <laughs> we're, we're good enough. I just like to assume we're good enough for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I think Goat got a virus. He just sent me... I recommend to visit the link. And then a, like a goo.gull link. Yeah, yeah. I just clicked on that. It's like, you know what? It's Internet Explorer. This box is like two months left to live at best. Why don't we see what it's about? And then just looking at it. Because My when he sent me it, it was... sent something like that last night. Like, his Skype just randomly sent a message to everyone in his uh, contacts, like, out of nowhere. Boy, can't fix your shit. There we are. Go Jesus has been informed. His Didn't Nate just fixed. have a birthday or something? That's something to talk about, I guess, for like a split second. Yeah, I think Nate and uh, Nate and somebody else both had birthdays at the same time. In the Who is or Maybe Nate? they're a week apart. Uh, Nate of the Horseshoe Crew. T the two best brothers bitch about ponies. Oh, uh, yes. The last two. Holy I nice. have never been in contact with Give and Take. Ever. Give and Take's birthday also just happened. Oh, nice. Give and Take's a cool dude. He is. They both had their birthdays within like a week of each other, I think. Today, or, or yesterday technically, was Sax Brony's birthday and Canada's birthday. Yep. Oh, Canada. It oh, thinks Sax it's a real Brony. country. <laughs> it's okay, though, because uh, not Mando Pony. I was about to say Mando Pony, but Black Griffin is intending to migrate there. Yes, we talked about this at the beginning of the show. Yep. Canada! Yeah. What a bunch of Canadians. I'm intending to move there one day, maybe. Or Seattle, whichever one's easier to get to. Who the fuck's got um, a train in their background that isn't you know, me for once? It's not me. You, oh, that was me. <clears throat> you know, Cider, Canada's actually notoriously hard to get into. <sighs> if you have any kind, any kind of criminal record whatsoever. I don't have a criminal record, thankfully. I'm just on you government. Don't, you don't have any misdemeanor charges or anything? No misdemeanor charges whatsoever. I'm 100% perfectly fine. Haven't you been jailed for something? <laughs> Not okay, in Okay, when Australia. you're in other countries and they don't <laughs> send you to trial because you're, you kind of end up escaping from jail and you never go back to Romania ever again, that... it doesn't really count. <laughs> Jeff, you are the king of that Better question. So. No one will ever beat that. Which one do you... Both of them. Most trouble you've ever been in. Oh, oh sorry, fuck sorry. Yeah. Been drinking. Yeah, no, it's like, yeah, which... Uh, what's the most trouble you've ever been in? That's a good response. Also, <laughs> cider and absinthe looks really disgusting when you mix it, because, uh... Digi, remember when we were at your place and I started mixing the absinthe and water and it went this vibrant yes. green-type colour shit? Yeah, when you mix you it with cider, it over yourself. When you do that with cider, it goes that light green... Uh, green that light green mixed with brown, so it just looks like somebody has a UTI yeah. and jacked off into a shot glass. Ugh. UTI? Urinal tract infection? That's Ugh. the one! Ooh, jacked off? Ugh. 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 <laughs> okay, so Go Jesus is no longer logged out, so I'm just gonna drag him in. No longer with us on planet. Rest in peace, Go Jesus. He's he left and then joined again. Oh, failed. New... Also, the avatar split in half after the call failed. What the that's, fuck? That's um. Hey. Someone. Hey. Uh, if anyone has push, of... please screen cap that and post the push in the chat. That was, oh, it went away. If you're like in the pub crawl chat demonic. and you want to watch absinthe being poured and mixed into a shot glass, click on this video, download it, invert the colors, reverse it, and right. change the I love the how light. you say in the chat, and then you mean for me to copy and paste it in the other chat for you. No, I want uh, fucking the intern to do it. Badger's not here, he died! Yeah. What? Nope. Legitimately, he's dead to me. Uh, I'm. I needed. I need an NBC page to do everything for me. Uh, 
nice. No, I love what I did to Badger during the week. That was fucking beautiful. What did you do? We had like Why is we had eight or ten people in the limbo I'm call, just... and I was like, uh, get, um, there two, there the two people. Uh, I listed off like two of them. One was Gaming Badger, and one was Cloud Coo Country. And I was like, and the rest are bitches. And Gaming Badger's like, yeah, I matter. I was like, yeah, you matter. You're Digi's friend. And then he just died inside. Oh, I Gaming Badger. <laughs> What a good time to join the call. <laughs> I know, I didn't even time hey. it. I was like, oh, I'm going to keep holy going. Holy shit, man. Like, is it sad that I can recognize that from the amount of hair on my forearm? What? What? The fuck are you on? I'm watching the video. The video. Oh. Oh, the horse friend video. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is a lot of hair on your forearm. Yeah, but it's, it all it's, comes it's up more, white. It's that gloss. It's more noticeable when it's inverted, yeah. I know. What it's, was the... What was the music playing over that? Because it sounded really familiar uh, to me for some reason. Oh, really? I don't know. Maybe yeah. maybe you'll have to decode it. I couldn't okay, figure also, it out. Okay, also, absinthe mixed with cider smells really bad. It smells like... Drink it, drink it. I, I am drinking it. I'm drinking it slowly because it tastes okay. It just tastes like licorice, as all absinthe should. But it smells like a urinary tract infection. It smells like I mixed yeast and cheese into a bloody milk jug and left it for a week. Ugh. The smell is nauseating, but the taste is good. This is why you should never smell drinks, ever. Like, they're, they're designed to be drunken, just all <laughs> consumed, not That's nasally true. consumed. If you're snorting alcohol, you've got fucking issues. <laughs> mm. Just a reminder, we here at Celestia Radio can... Uh, yeah. Condone alcohol poisoning. Condone! I was going to say consort with snorting alcohol. It's like, wait, consort? Fucking what? Because we're all teenagers trapped in adults' bodies. I was going to oh, say hey, something I don't... Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! series! New Digimon. What, Arc V? Arc V, yeah! It's How been going for, now? like, over a year. Wow, it took that long to be added to most streaming sites. <clears throat> No, it didn't. It's been around. Uh, Watch Cartoon and Kiss Anime just started uploading it. Really? That's odd. Arc V's been out for a while. I've heard it's good, um, comparatively to all the other Yu-Gi-Oh! seasons. I, I... It supposedly has some slight subversive elements to it. Uh. Therefore, it's But you don't answer. really recognize them until, like, a few, like, dozen episodes in or something like that it's one of those shows that uh that um it's been getting talked about on a exclusively among people who have already seen all of the other Yu-Gi-Oh shows so i have to take their opinion with a grain of salt when they're like oh yeah this one's like more interesting and better than the others you know those ones kind of sucked it's like yeah but you watched all of them like i don't know if i can completely buy into uh the kool-aid you're distributing <laughs> Mm, I could really go for some Kool Aid right about now. Me too. I go for some Jungle Juice. <sighs> Fuck, I need Jungle Juice, but you know it's oh. just people died in Australia after drinking Jungle Juice, so they don't make it like they used to. You ever um, turns out. Hmm? Oh, you you cutting ever clear with like Kool Aid, so you can't taste like the alcohol. It's a bunch of other crap too. It's beautiful. I, I can't imagine anything you could do to like. Everclear you, or absinthe to make it you not taste the... No, you literally will not taste alcohol because I remember paying five bucks for a cup and I'm like taking a sip. I was like, there's no alcohol in this. You ripped me the fuck off. Well, if you're not like drunk a, at the like end of the night. Like a full of alcohol though? No, no. Oh man, my god. I was so... There's 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 recipes for it. Like look up jungle yeah, juice. Yeah, no. Yeah, making jungle juice is a lot of fun, especially if you have just like a giant like a... Uh... Yep. A plastic container meant to store like your winter clothing <laughs> in your in your closet. Oh, you mean like that size of? Yes, container. you literally need that. This is a wonderful. This, yeah. is, this is why you go to college, Digi. Jungle juice. That's that's <laughs> why the uh, that's why the recipe I calls for like one community. liter of vodka. Oh, one. How'd that go? Um, I changed majors three times and dropped out. The way everyone should treat community college. <laughs> Which is exactly why Obama's trying to make the first two years free. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's useless, so may as well. Yes. Unfortunately, I don't think he can get that done before he has to leave off office. But well, hopefully, hopefully I don't know. we get a Democratic maybe president. Maybe, maybe he'll do it tomorrow. Or at least, like, a decent president. Yeah. Hope it goes well. What Obama's do you think about the uh, new marriage thing there, Jeff? 
Why are you asking me? I, for one, cannot wait for Donald Trump to become the next president. <laughs> uh, Good save. Don't even... But, yeah, his first thing Don't even before, joke about be, that, man. Be oh, man. That was, like, fucking brilliant. This is a man who understands how business works and comes up and says, fucking hate those wetbacks, eh? <laughs> Come on over here, stealing our jobs. Yeah. You know, I, I always wow. have a lot of premiums. Like, are you offended by that? I was like, no, why? What do you think about us putting turrets at the border? I was like, we already got enough over here. I don't give a fuck about the people. Wait, who are, are you media. Mexican? Yeah, that's the Aguilar. <laughs> oh, well, that's, yeah, I guess. That on my father's side, it's it's Latino. On my mother's side, it's French, German, and Finnish. So, yeah. I just assumed you were some white guy. Well, I, I my skin is white. Back you in the are day, just back in the day, guy. I'd have to Anthony, go to the color. And and finally, Anthony's only discount white. Yeah, it's not ba- quite white. Back in the day, I'd have to go use the colored toilet. How's that? <laughs> hey, kid, want a yiff? Nah. I don't think you could afford my race. That was fucking brilliant. Explaining to a bunch of academics while drunk what furries are and what furry dildos are. Because you mentioned that you do 3D printing. And they're asking, so have you ever printed sex with I'm like, no, Bad Dragon does all that stuff. What's Bad Dragon? Well, kids, pull up your chairs. (laughs) I get the feeling, Sutter, you're that one friend that doesn't know when to shut up. (laughs) I knew when to shut up. The problem is, by that point, they weren't going to let it drop. It's just... Because I get asked this all the time, and normally people just go, oh, and then they don't ask any more questions. It always goes to the, oh, yeah, so, you know, it's just... You're doing 3D printing stuff. Has anyone asked you to do sex with my No, Bad Dragon comes up. It'll always be, who's Bad Dragon? I'll tell you when you're older. These people's like, who's Bad Dragon? I'll tell you when you're older. Sweet, I'll just look it up on my phone right now. Okay, this is who Bad Dragon is. Yeah. Because it's probably... Having them look it up is more damning than telling them a dumbed-down version of it. Yeah. (laughs) They make animal-themed sex toys. Buy my PhD. (laughs) Go to Encyclopedia Dramatica and find out for yourself. Because they were remarkably cool about... all. It looks like I'm talking about the... Buy your own answers. When I've got the Oculus Rift stuff conversation coming up, though. Oh, yeah, so have you downloaded any of the, like, hentai things? It's like, I've tried them a couple of times. They're just really poorly done and weird. I feel like I need another 30 graphics cards just to get the most out of it. Like, it's bizarre how much the girls at these conferences know about fleshlights. I don't think it's bizarre. It's a bunch of nerd women. Who do you no, think it's like, is... I did not know there was one in which you could control the speed through variables in the Unreal Engine 4 programming thing. Like, I'd never heard of any of this. <laughs> this is cutting-edge pornographic technology at work, and they're just laying it all down for me. It's like, D- do you have a business card? I can get these ideas off from you because I could <laughs> sell everything here for money. Oh, man. Good times. <sighs> Definitely good times. Have you... Wait. Actually, yeah. Have you 3D printed any sex toys? I'm not really confident with what I can do with the latex, because the idea is if I print something off and give it to someone and it breaks when it's half inserted, that's just stuck in their insides for ages. Oh, yeah. I don't want to... I don't want to be responsible if shit goes wrong. How much would you be willing to pay a tester? They get the sex toy. <laughs> How much would you would you pay for them to relocate to Australia to live in your house? No, that is the no. laziest job I've ever heard of in my life. That's brilliant. <laughs> so what do you do? I'm a sex toy tester. When do things go wrong? Who do you call? Hospitals mostly, because yeah. like I, I don't even know how this would go because. 3D printed latex is very different from regular forms of latex. It doesn't have the capacity to bend or stretch anywhere near as much. I mean, for the average things, you want to throw off a dildo you printed off, and it'll bounce off the walls. It'll be hilarious to wa- uh, just watch dicks bounce off walls. I've done that, but the problem is... on that, it'll be hilarious to watch dicks bounce, bounce off walls. If you bend it too much, it'll snap and break. And you're like, Aww. uh... I've, uh, I've no. posted what I believe to be a 3D printed sex toy in the chat that I found on 4chan. Anything from Bad Dragon? <laughs> no. <laughs> Go ahead and look. I, I need to, like, copy and paste. 
Crow's not loading. I don't have enough RAM. Alright, I'll just link you Oh in the chat. my god, what? <laughs> Never what? mind. It sounds like you found it. <laughs> yep. Jesus Christ, there's holes all over the chest area and stuff. Oh, oh here it is for everybody else who can't. Uh... I'm not sure I want to look at it. <laughs> Alright, I'm looking. I'm going to regret th the hell? It's not that yeah! bad. It's just. It's creepy, no, it's but it's not it's just disgusting. Like, what? Why? No, why it's not did, disgusting at all. Why, why, why do they have a fingernail for a shoulder? For a shoulder? <laughs> oh, it's just been like, I don't know what's going on here. I was about to say, I haven't fallen for the don't look at that bullshit in some time. And I was like, that's not so bad. That's only going to fucking encourage me to click on the next link. It's like a bad gambling habit. No, it's definitely weird. Not here about shocking and disturbing people. It's just things that don't make a lot of logical sense. I don't actually think that's a 3D printed sex toy. I just, we we were talking about it and I happened to see that image on 4chan and I was like, oh. Man, <laughs> I can't wait for the day where you can just 3D print a girlfriend. Not just the sex toy component, but everything. So you want to oh, make, you want to make Chi from Chovitz? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I okay. guess. That's How much? Yeah, at. How much would you sell that for on profit? Like 50%, 100%? For fuck's sake, like, uh, I would aim, given how much I normally sell my 3D printed goods for, I'd aim for about 6,000% profit. I remember telling my friend about that, I was like, how much would you pay for, like, what is it, Samomo? Is like, if she cost the price of a flash drive, how many would you have? He's like, as many as I could cram in my house. <laughs> Not bad. All my uh, shelves, I... man. All of them. Oh, fuck, why did I drink so much? Why did you not drink more? Yeah. You're right. I'm gonna Question. go piss and drink more. So, I guess this is Badger. What have you been up to over the week? Tell everyone about all the Counter-Strike stuff, because I heard something happened where somebody died that played Counter-Strike. Even I haven't heard about this. What is this? No, just from what I understand, if someone died while playing Counter-Strike. They weren't doing anything. They would just... Oh, um, probably in Asia then, because that actually happens quite often in China and South Korea. Alright, I'll be back. Wait, where are you going? Are we you guys also have Chi Chi here now, too. He's gonna get the drink, oh, hey. so apparently I'm talking about yeah, some guy who died playing Counter-Strike. I don't know, Badger, are you um, following anything about that Arkham thing with the recall? The Batman thingamajig? Oh yeah, Batman Arkham Knight, that was a... That happened. Couldn't care less. I expected it. Nobody else did for whatever reason, but okay. Yeah. Did like, you... though, the, the Batman Arkham games have always had shitty PC ports at launch. That's and... boring. Chi Chi, what have you been up to? <laughs> got my first job. Sometimes I question why, Whoa, I, why I bother coming on this show. At? A hotel. I'm a housekeeper now. Oh, wow. Sounds like fun. Is that fun or horrible? It could Sounds like it could be it's both. Funny. Well, that is a very pragmatic approach. How much you get paid? Also, weed is legal here now. Like, for the recreational weed? use. What? Weed. Oh, weed. Yep, got legalized so, here. So, do you have any cool stories from on the job yet? No, not or yet. Like, I literally stories. just...